Hello guys! I hope you guys are having the best day ever. My name is Caitlin McCarty and I'm a second grade teacher and I'm going to give you my classroom tour. First I want to start off by giving you a little overview. So from the door all the way around. So I'm going to start at the door. This is whenever you come in. The row and column sign are acts of kindness we're going to try to do a hundred acts our affirmation contract over here is our hall passes which i absolutely love they just put them on their desk whenever they go of course pink trash bag they hang all of their book bags here all of their cubbies so in here they will have all of their extra supplies textbooks needed they put their binder here handwriting book folder all of that up here are our leveled readers that we use for small group all of this is um the things that they give us so extra stuff for science decodable readers all of those fun things recycling bin not too fun but this is like my absolute favorite because this is how i keep track of everything that we do this year so i print an extra copy out and label it and so next year I just have to take it out, make copies, and we're all good to go. Extra paper, band-aids, tissues, you know, hand sanitizer. All of my reading streets. This is how I plan my treasure box, which I absolutely love this. I got this from Michaels. These are also for the treasure box. They're the big crayons. This is an overview of my desk. So I love this rainbow. It's like a um, desk skirt that's from Amazon. That's so cute. Fresh flowers, which I absolutely love. This is stuff from my um, student teaching. And usually everything the kids give me, I hang up on the wall or else I put it in my cabinets in a folder to save. Um, this a student got me. This a student got me. So I try to like display certain things just like up there. All my favorite pens, our candy jar. One of my students actually made this for me as well. They love playing with this thing. <laughs> and then just around my desk, this is kind of like an overview from the back. I always keep my agenda on my desk. Keep my, some lesson plans right here. If I have to do any collaborations, I leave the boxes over there. This is just a big box of stickers, turn-in bin. This is where I display all my plans at. So week one, week two, three, and four. Extra stuff I just have to go through. This is my back wall. So I just put these here for our soil unit that we're going to do. This is for my small group. I absolutely love these flexible seating options. Our classroom promise I love having out for display. All of these worksheets is what we're doing um, for the upcoming week. So I take them out and just display them so I know what to, you know, pull out when the time's needed. I also have these around my room. So like this is south. I have an east, west, and a north for the compass. Over here, I have another flexible seating option. This is our morning bins. These are extra math um, readers and extra help some big books, and then I display their work. So right now it's their I Have a Dream speeches, which are literally adorable. But these are some of the things that I keep in our morning bins, which are literally so much fun. So things to build with, these they absolutely love. Um, spot it game, building blocks. These are fun, they're just from the Target Dollar Spot. Play-Doh, Doodle Jam boards, so many different options. And also on here, I love these because they all have um, affirmations on them. And I literally just put bullets and board um, border up to hang it on. So then this is this little back corner. I love my little rainbow mat, but it gets so dirty so quick. Um, my little Lego wall, all my book buddies, and my yoga mats, pillows they use for whenever we have um, relaxation time or meditation time, reading time, 
those types of things. I want to display all these somehow one day, maybe like up in a corner, like in a basket or something. I'm not sure yet. But um, this we made in like a team bonding activity with all my coworkers. I love this little sign because it's rainbow, of course. All the famous Wendy's crayons. <laughs> Um, the interactive map. I love that I finally did this and got a chance to do it. This is just sticker um, wallpaper that I put on. And then in this one is just my math stuff. And I just labeled it money in base 10 blocks. This is all reading things and games. Yes, I need it more organized, but whatever. <laughs> my teacher toolbox which I love. I'm glad that this is like a thing. <laughs> um, my pencil sharpener, my pencil lamp. I absolutely love that. Tap jar. If you don't do tap jar, tap jar is literally amazing. Some extra pencils. These are also just like a bunch of fun pencils that they can grab if they get tap jar. A bunch of extra kind of just I need to go through stuff. <laughs> and then same with these drawers are just all um, this is kind of like supplies to help hang up stuff or if something falls down to like put it back up. Um, these two are just a bunch of extra supplies, pencils, markers, crayons. And then this is extra stuff like extra posters if I didn't use them or other things like that. This is treasure box and holiday stuff. And then right here is paper and craft supplies, all those things. And then this is cleaning supplies under the sink. So that is an overview of that. I absolutely love my um, number line. I love it, love it, love it. Sometimes it falls down like that though. So that's just, you know, real life. <laughs> but then this is new. I did not have this in the beginning of the year. Um, I just got these new cases from Walmart and this one is from Amazon. I love this so much more, but I am gonna have to get another one because I obviously have overflow of books. But this is what's on the top. I love that I have like the big one and the little one of both of those. These are just extra bookmarks. I just got these two new sets. Um, whisper phones. They love using these. So multiplication we learn at the end of the year. But I love having this up for my high flyers. They can go ahead and start learning it. This is our class jobs. And it's so easy because I can just take the number off and switch it whenever we do switch jobs. We are in the middle of learning the sign language alphabet right now, which I am literally loving because I got to tell them that I actually had um, a waitress that was deaf literally this past weekend. So I got to like share with them that it does come in handy and it is like a real thing that they will encounter one day. Um, this is our new classroom management tool, which I absolutely love. They get to spin to win. Ada Twist, the scientist. We love her. We watch her all the time. Um, Book Hospital. This is just if something is, you know, ripped, broken, whatever, they can put it in there. Right now, I just have a bunch of a class at Martin Luther King books that we just read that doesn't have really a spot. These are just extra supplies if needed, which I love just having here. Markers, glue, they can just come and grab. Right here are our math stations and reading stations. So after testing, I can just kind of grab it and move if they have to switch to whatever group they are going in, whether they're going up or down, whatever it may be. This is counting towards the 100th day of school, which I'm so excited, it's almost here. And then after 100, obviously we'll keep going until the last day of school. This was my Christmas tree that we actually turned into a Valentine's tree. So we put our own little hearts on it that had some affirmations on it, which I absolutely adore. I love that. And actually they came up with the idea of making it a Valentine's tree, which I love. Readers are leaders. This was a little activity we did about the wrinkled heart and saying mean things to each other and you can't just put a bandaid on it to make it better. Some more flexible seating options whenever they're reading on the carpet. And I'll give you a little overview of this. This is my carpet. I did get it at the beginning of the year, so it does have some spots already, but I absolutely love it. Wouldn't have changed getting a new one. My affirmation station. Um, I absolutely love this. I think I use this more than the kids, but it's literally the best thing to happen to me, happen to them. Lately, I've been having them stand up and say their favorite thing about each other and then about themselves. So like they'll come to the mirror, say their favorite thing about themselves. Like I love my blue eyes or whatever it is. And then, you know, keep it going. So I love boosting their confidence in here. 
Moving on, um, there, for example, like the north sign right there, my projector. I love this all right here. So like my lucky ducks, this is materials needed little magnet set. Um, this I put up just so they can start learning as well. We're learning, are getting towards extra recess. This is for my 100th day of school pencil calendar. Those are just extra that I were or was going to use for groups, but I never ended up using them. That's just real life. <laughs> um, this is to match groups with so I can like hand them a card and then whoever they match with, that's where they go. Our schedule and I loved putting these analog clocks next to it whenever we did our time unit. Um, I love this. Oh my gosh, I got it from Marshall's. Literally cutie. Our book reviews, um, skip counting, which is going to help them with multiplication. My chair, I actually painted this. Um, a lot of people ask me where I got it from. I, I did it over the summer and it took me like 16 hours, but you know, and I love my new little pit pillow that I got from Teacher Noir. She's literally amazing. Um, I have this that says, do not scream unless there's a fire, someone is hurt, or Justin Bieber just walked in. And I love my little timer and because it'll go off whenever it hits zero. My little pointers, eraser, voice levels, but real life, um, <laughs> they're out of batteries. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, my calendar supplies. This I put their spelling words on. I actually just erased it because I need to do this week's secret student, which I love. I'll just write their name underneath of that. And then I'll use this whenever we do writing and I give an example up on the board. Coming over here to this last little corner, we did what makes us proud. So up on there, it says things like, I'm proud of my sports awards, getting all A's, I'm proud of who I am, those types of things. Um, this someone made for me for the countdown to Christmas that I didn't want to just tear apart. So I just have it hanging up. And then these, these are our hand signals that we use in the classroom. I absolutely love these. These are a lifesaver. I will do this next year as well. Hopefully it works just as good. So calendar time, um, this day of the week, um, the weather and the season. So we are almost to the end of January. So we'll have to switch this to February soon. They put their lunch boxes in the lunch bin and we bring this whole bin to lunch. And I have that assigned as a job. These are our reading workstations. So vocabulary, writing and phonics which i love there each of them has three tiers that they will work on throughout the week anchor chart this we learned whenever we learned about time so that was my let's read a clock um once again real life um our birthdays i never wrote their birthdays on there it's just in my agenda this is my little tree that is still up and they gave me some um ornaments so i didn't want to like just put them away whenever they got them for me so there's that, but, and then this is just literally a bunch of random stuff. So like my sticky notes, um, extra flexible seating, you know, those types of things. And then this is back to the beginning of the room. But then looking this way, I do have the apples hung up and the rainbow balloons still from the beginning of the year. I have found that this U shape with two in the middle is absolutely phenomenal. I love this setup. I love they can like partner work this way or this way and it's it's literally amazing so this is you know my classroom and i literally love it i wouldn't change anything about it right now um it's literally been the best year ever and i hope that you have the best day ever I figured i would also show you outside of my classroom so this is my bulletin board i did valentine's day with the black history month posters around it and then we have our habitat project outside for the other grades to see but yeah this is just outside and then into my classroom we go thank you guys so much for watching my room tour i hope you guys have the best day ever